Several hundred people have partied in central London celebrating the death of former British Prime Minister Margaret Thatcher. The number was far fewer than the thousands organisers had predicted. But the passing of the leader who polarised opinion has revived debate on many issues, from her stance towards Irish Republican hunger strikers to free markets that bitterly divided Britain in the 1980s. When people say, like, you know, she saved the country, she saved the country for people like her. She didn't save the country for the people who lived in Hackney or any other working class area. They're the ones, they're the ones who, who bore the burden of the bills and so on. But many others, including Thatcher opponents, believe the jubilation of some at the former leader's death is in bad taste and inappropriate. I just personally think that she, you know, she, she did what she did for our country, whether it be right or wrong. It did help some people, obviously some people it did affect their lives, so you know, just let her, just let her rest in peace. The slogan on the man's T-shirt echoes a bizarre subplot that's been growing alongside the many tributes and condemnations of the Thatcher era. On Sunday, the music charts will come under scrutiny. The question many are asking is, how high will Ding Dong the Witch is Dead go? A social media campaign has pushed the song from the 1939 film The Wizard of Oz. Broadcasters have wrestled over whether to play it, prompting more controversy over questions of taste and censorship. Yeah.